Hugh Green, in a word, devastation. One of the things I remember about Hugh was his great ability to keep blockers off his legs. You don't see too many players with that innate ability. And not a real big fellow, but he had quickness and he was an excellent tackler. Natural strength. I don't think Hugh was much into weightlifting, but he had great biceps. He had so much upper body strength. Green was on the cover of Sports Illustrated with the headline, Baddest Cat in the Game. He was sitting there in his blue Pitt jersey with his arms folded and a Black Panther in the background. And that was said, uh, Pitt was the preseason number one team that year in 1980 by Sports Illustrated. And over his four year career, he collected 49 quarterback sacks. Basically, he lived in the other team's backfield and he really broke ground when he was the runner up for the Heisman in 1980. His second place finish was the highest for a purely defensive player. He got ripped off. He should have won the Heisman Trophy. There was no better college player in that senior year than Hugh Green. Just tremendous explosiveness and speed and just uh, the spearhead of the, the great teams that Pitt had during the late 70s, early 80s. Roger Houston was the PA announcer, the famed Meadows harness announcer. And he had that thing where he said, Hugh Green. You know, and the crowd would get into it, and it, those were fun days. They really were. It's no coincidence that the most dominant defensive player in Pitt history played on some of the most dominant teams in Pitt football history. 